Hey everybody, welcome to Toby the Oracle Dog's YouTube channel. My name is Heather, I'm an animal communicator and a psychic energy channeler and intuitive. And this is Tober. Tober is a dog in spirit. His picture is also here on the board so that if he um, wants to send you individual messages and you're open to receiving them, then he will through the reading. And I channel messages from him he's connected to all of the energy source as are we but what animals can do is send us messages kind of without our minds filtering the way so i get words images um thoughts uh, know how taste smells and i do my best to put those into human language and we use the energy of the cards to help guide messages for you and today uh, thank you to everybody who voted we are going to be bringing you messages channeled directly from source energy um, which is the energy of pure love we're going to be starting with these beautiful secret language of animal oracles um, not least because we're back from holiday we've had a couple of weeks off and um, lion energy is one of my favorites and so we are just going to go with it because we feel that we can um, not for any other reason so it's the sheer joy of being back and working with energy and I just want to say um, a big shout out. So for anyone who's helped me with the case study program that we started just before we went away, um, in particular, a real shout out to Hawk, Seed Turtle and Mermaid Energy. Um, hopefully, you know who you are. You're amazing. Your feedback has been wonderful. And if anyone is still to give us feedback, um, we really love it. If you could hurry that along a little bit just so that we can get some energetic cleansing um, for other people's readings that are still to come up. So we have got a pick up our reading today for three different messages uh, with pick a card readings. If you're new to them, um, just choose the pile that you feel you feel you are most drawn to, and you may be drawn to more than one, perhaps even all three. There could easily be messages for you. These are timeless, so they're good for whenever you find them. So for pile number one, <laughs> look at that. We've got sea turtle. Would you believe it? <laughs> okay, so. Uh, card number seven yeah. and we have caribou Ooh. and that is card number 14 and for card number three we have got blue whale and that is card number two okay if you need more time please press pause to choose uh, timestamps will be down below in the comments and description and we will see you in your readings. Hey, card number one, welcome to your reading. You chose this card number seven, and it is Sea Turtle. And it says, beginnings, self-reliance, journey home. Okay, so if you're new to our readings, uh, we start with two cards, an overall energy theme from Tober's deck, um, or other decks, but today it's Tober's deck and this seed turtle, and then we will build out the cards from there. So we haven't pre-selected any other cards other than, or card decks rather, than these here. Okay, so we've got connection. Wow. Okay, this is quite a big, strong message coming through. So this is an immediate message from source. Um, I'm basically guessing that your tribe is close, your soul tribe is close, it's really near. I think it's been a very long journey to get there. Um, uh, I think you are somebody who had to dig deep into your own self-reliance and you have perhaps discovered a lot about energy on the way. We've kind of got this um, sort of uh, like overview, like this, this um, it's almost like a spirit turtle watching. And then here we've got what I would sort of call, it's almost like cave paintings. It's, it's sort of, um, I'm getting kind of like quite ancestral energy. So there's like spirit energy and ancestral energy, and then also guardians. So it's like, I think these might be angel fish. Um, correct me if anyone knows uh, the actual make of them. <laughs> Maybe they're made up, but they're very, very beautiful. So you are extremely guided, extremely connected. And I think this is something to do with the connection to source energy for yourself. This is, but it, there's also a connection to humans as well which i think is probably really really important to you file number one um and then we've got the color here coming through which is um uh sacral chakra which is about um creativity and sexual energy as well um so there could be a soul partner as well as a soul tribe connection coming through 
Um, for any of you who are single and looking for somebody, there could be something that comes through in this message for you. I'm, I'm obviously I'm not sure until we build out the cards, but for certain, there's there's layers there's layers of connection coming through here. There's connection to um, to your own inner energy. There's connection to um, source. There's connection to ancestors the connection to angels and guardians and there's connection to people this is a really 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 big message um uh very I'm, I'm almost feeling like there's a great big hug of love coming through here from source um and source energy is the energy of love and I'm, I'm, I'm actually feeling that I'm, i feel like i'm in being enveloped in um in a great big hug of love um okay so we're just going to press pause and we're going to get some more cards to build out this message Okay, part number one, we have got here the Power of Love Oracle and True Love Oracle. Um, for obvious reasons, I'm really feeling that energy of love. And um, I'm not sure if, well, the cards will show, I think, for some of you, what, what kind of connection this is. But as I said, I think it's very, very multi-layered. Um, we have got here Listening to Flowers. Um, these are new for us. The Oracle cards are absolutely beautiful. Got some lovely messages on the back of them. And then we have got the Muse Tarot, um, which is, again, it's a very, um, uh, very fresh, loving energy tarot deck. So we are going to start with, where are we going to over? Over there. Okay. We're going to start with the Power of Love Oracle cards. I'm going to sit right there to start with. Loyalty. Oh, wow. Your reliable reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. OK, so we have reliability here and then we have self-reliance here. Um, there's a lot of heart centered energy here. Um, I wonder if some of you have been let down in the past and your reliability has been taken advantage of and that you are now perhaps more self-reliant than ever and maybe you've gone over the edge of being so self-reliant that you've kind of lost some of your ability to connect um perhaps because you're so starting such a spiritual journey connection that connecting to humans who had taken advantage of your loyalty has been a bit of a trial for you um The Rainbow Reviver, card number 24. Well, this is Tobra's energy through and through. Um, I'm going to pause and read the card deck for this card in a minute because I feel there's something very specific that wants to come through here. But I love the energy of this. It really feels here. We've got Beginnings, Journey Home, Rainbow Reviver. Um, it's like your, the loyalty that you have shown to source energy, I think, is going to start to be really, really repaid to you. Okay, which of these? The um the feel of these cards is just amazing. Beautiful. I wonder what they're made of. I mean card, obviously, but <laughs> they feel different to any other cards I've got. Okay, so we got Serato. Lovely little flower, very delicate. Um, perhaps you're feeling a bit delicate at the moment. I listen to my inner voice. I release doubt and accept certainty. I embrace my truths as pure knowing. Yeah. Okay. I think you've had a cause to doubt yourself and question, really question who you are, who, who other people have um, maybe made you feel like you are. Um, And this is a this is a message about supporting you and putting joy back into your life for a start. But there's something in this um, Rainbow Reviver card. I'm just going to pause and look in the guidebook if it's relevant. I'll bring it back and read it because I think it feels really important. Okay, I'm going to hold that up. So if you want to screenshot it, you can. Um, okay, I'm going to read out some of this. Um, Feeling good from the inside out is important, no matter what is happening in your personal life. We all need a little lift from time to time, and a rainbow reviver is a great way to put a smile on your face. When you're single, the rainbow can help you feel more positive and lovable. If you're in a relationship and the challenges of life have worn you down a little bit, the rainbow will brighten up your day. You can give yourself a rainbow reviver any time, and it only takes a minute. 
First, take a nice deep breath, exhale fully and get present in your body on the moment. Then imagine a rainbow. And Toby's saying, imagine him, him. <laughs> with its seven rich luminous colours. He's saying, imagine him curled up at your feet. Picture the rainbow flowing towards you and streaming into your crown chakra on top of your on the top of your head, filling you until you overflow, allowing it to wash over the surface of you as well. And he's saying, if in doubt, ask for a big hug from him. Then I found to yourself, the rainbow is cleansing, uplifting and energising. I feel peaceful, positive and happy. You have drawn this card today because your angels and spirit guides would like you like to use this simple technique whenever you need a cosmic hug. They even suggest that you put a picture of the rainbow on your mobile phone, computer and your wallet to remind you of this lovely technique. So I'm giggling because Tobra said you could put a picture of him on there as well if you'd like. <laughs> and remind me of this lovely technique because life gets busy and it's easy to forget that help is at hand. Drink in the soothing, healing and uplifting energy of the rainbow as often as you like. You can't overdo it. OK, so this is an invitation when your connections on an earthly on an earthly level feel like they're not delivering for you. Step number one is to reach for a cosmic hug. And here it's like also listen to your inner voice um, and. I'm also getting from this card. It almost looks like a film. Like, forget me not. I wonder if that is. It's like, don't forget that you are born to be amazing. Don't forget that you're incredibly protect protected and connected. And that the loyalty that you are demonstrating um, is because of this heart energy. You have such a pure heart. Um, and the stronger that you can build yourself from the inside out and the stronger that you can connect to source and to your inner person um the easier it is to be strong about your external connections okay so we're going to use the tarot now to build out um maybe some advice and a little bit more about this message so we're going to start with an immediate energy we're going to go back for some context and we're going to go forward immediately and then forward for a little bit further so toba please from source what is the immediate energy around this message Uh, that one there. Okay, two of inspiration. All right, so I really feel like you're searching for um, you're searching for balance. You're searching for your tribe. You're searching for connectivity. If you see here, we've got this orange color, and it's like there's a telescope, and it's like wh where's the connection? Where are the people that vibe with me? Where are the people in life that are not bland and not grey or or, or, or and not not seeing me um what's coming through from toba immediately on that is that if you are feeling unseen then it's really important that you see yourself um for the vulnerable incredible being that you are not not for the not for the version that your mind wants to create of you maybe low on self-worth or not being good enough it's like you almost have to see yourself for your truth of how beautiful and incredible and intelligent and naturally gifted you are in your own right so that other people can see that too because if you can't sit in yourself and you can't connect to the brilliance of who you are we are all brilliant um even though our outward manifestation of behaviors may not always feel right or other people's behavior towards us doesn't feel right we have to see the beauty in ourselves um, and that really is about understanding our own um like our own capability um the other thing that's coming through from here is because this is orange this is also like a another um it can be creativity it's like seeing your own creativity it can be sexual energy as well for so for those of you who maybe are um wanting to find a partner or in a relationship where you're not feeling seen or heard um there is again the element of you understanding what it is exactly that you want from a connection um in order to be able to express that truth um, if you haven't read The Five Lung Love Languages by Gary Chapman, um, that might be something that is really, really worth investing in. I think it's a, a personally, I think it's a book that we should all um, be given us at school. Um, it's it's a real way of understanding yourself and understanding how you like to receive love. But you really do need to find self-love in order to kind of receive love as well. Um, so going backwards for some context. We have got the Knight of Materials. So that's the Knight of Pentacles. So perhaps you have been really focused on work, like you were a very hard worker, pal number one. Um, and 
you know, delivering for other people, like hard at it, constantly on the go, um, being loyal, delivering for other people. Um, it's almost like carrying, being a champion of other people's creativity. I'm kind of getting this this energy here of loyalty. It's like it's kind of the green tie in here. It's like you've been maybe carrying around other people's um other people's creativity in a way that's really loyal like not just carrying it on your back but like carrying like promoting other people head and shoulders above yourself um and feeling proud proud of the proud of the accolades proud of the the gifts it's like you've been celebrated for that um you know you may have been given awards um uh you felt you felt that you were doing the right thing by delivering for other people but then your loyalty has maybe been tested and now you're or perhaps you're, you've lost sight of your own creativity. Um, so I think you're extremely loyal, dedicated, hardworking, um, doing things for other people, <laughs> putting all of your energy into doing that things for other people and, and loving it when you get rewards, but the rewards are maybe have been wearing thin or somebody's let you down, um, or actually you're realising that, um, you know, where's your creativity gone? Where's where's your expression gone? You might have even drifted apart in a relationship because you've been so focused on work or and and or maybe your partner has been or you've been single and you haven't found a partner because you've been so focused on work and you're kind of like, no, there must be more to it than this. OK, so next steps, immediate energy, October. So this is like. Do we want both of those? No, let's just keep going. They'll come out again if they want to. Um, so this is kind of like what's going to happen next in this situation. Here we go, like immediate, like over the next few days. Wow. Okay, three of emotions. So this is kind of the three of cups. So this is like um new new friends, um, or reconnecting with existing friends, community, more happiness. So there's an invitation in here to invest in your existing relationships or invest in relationships that are meaningful for you to give you connection to people who you really you really relate to or you relate to as much as you can um that deliberately seek out people where they know you well enough they're not people who take from you they're 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 people who you can actually just go and spend a bit of time with that isn't work and is We've got this kind of like water and we've got this blue somewhere where you feel you can actually express your voice. Um, and that might mean joining an online course, for example, on a subject that you might be interested in or um, uh, if you have the means to do that. And although there are a lot of courses out there that, um, you know, perhaps you might be able to find your way onto that are um, that resonate that aren't necessarily going to cost much money. Um, but there's definitely something in here about just going on finding some people who who or connecting to people you already know who are able to give you some airtime, like some voice time that makes you feel at least emotionally connected to an extent, even if it's not even if it's not as much as you want to long term, just to move yourself and shift shift out of the energy of needing a connection is like actually just go and find one where you can feel emotionally hurt oh and wow all right ace of inspiration is the slightly longer term energy so uh inspiration i think in this deck are ones i'm pretty sure they are um so we are so we're going here from searching to actually a new start in terms of um manifesting manifesting what it is that you want see this see this oh, that's amazing okay so see this energy here of loyalty has now as opposed to holding it above your head it's like I've, I've i've got it and i'm kind of embedding it into my own into my own like my own head i'm not holding it above for somebody else um i am going to own this energy i'm going to i'm going to make it mine i'm going to send out and my thoughts and my energy into the world to bring to me is that this this rainbow is like this rainbow is flowing through you and into your into your third eye chakra here so this energy of the rainbow is actually flowing into you and 
calling in the connections that you actually want. And when we're looking for connection, we're looking for connectivity. And it is there's also this connection to source energy. And it's also this, this energy of loyalty, that you're loyalty to yourself, you're loyalty to your own thoughts, you're loyalty to your own mind, your loyalty, your loyalty starts to being loyal to you. And then when we call in connections, the connections are um, ones that you've actually written down. What type of connection do you need? What kind of what type of connection do you want? Um, what is it that you want from a relationship? Not from a person. Forget a person, but what do you want from a friend's relationship? What do you want from a romantic relationship? What do, what do you want from a relationship? Even if you're with a partner, what do I want from a partner relationship? Um, and then it's really important to go back to that blue energy of expression which is self-expression from a place of um just speaking your authentic truth from your inside out from here from the inner being your inner voice um expressing your inner voice in a way that is um as truthful to other people as it is to you and and that, that kind of starts with expressing to yourself what it is that you really want um and so we've got this ace of inspiration. We've got this ace of um, really manifesting what it is that you want. And we've got here this journey home. It's like the beginnings of the journey back to yourself, back to back to knowing who you really are from the inside out, connecting to your inner being, connecting to the outer energies and connecting to other people in a way that is really, really meaningful. Um, and when we go through this, um, when we go through this kind of, energetic upgrade if you like um which you're definitely on part number one um we we do lose we do lose connection with people who aren't as advanced in their connectivity sometimes we can catch up with them again or they can catch up with us rather um but sometimes it's not possible you know people do fall by the wayside if they want to stay stuck in um the world where disloyalty is normal um then they need to stay there you can only work with people to meet them where they're at um and moving yourself beyond that energy just shifting yourself flowing through topping yourself up going within listening to yourself um don't carry don't carry other people's burdens for them in the hope of the odd reward now and again reward yourself um and you will find that you become much closer to your creativity you become much closer to your sexual energy if that's something that you're interested in um, and in doing so you will draw in the right energy towards you um on all levels connecting to yourself obviously being the kind of primary driver of that okay that is a lovely message i'm just going to reach up here and i feel like i really want to get you that uh, affirmation to close out in october let me see if there's anything else that you want to add one is then I love and honor myself Perfect. the same compassion and appreciation you give to others is equally if not more important to show to yourself words of affirmation accepting mistakes setting clear boundaries and following your intuition are just some of the ways you can express and magnify self-love there we go so connecting to yourself connecting to source be clear about what you want from everybody else not as an individual but as a as a relationship um and um everything's going to shift forward for you um pile number one you're you've embarked on a journey of transformation um and you're doing an incredible job and you're incredibly supported um and if you can't feel the connection october suggesting just spending a few minutes each day um deliberately quieting your mind and, and just asking you know asking that connection asking for the connection to source and to your inner voice to say um you know what's my right next action what's my right next action um and then just allow allow yourself um allow yourself that that energy of sort of clear mind thinking for that message to just come through and your connection to source is just going to get stronger and stronger and stronger um we finished with the heart and it, uh, source energy is the energy of love and um, loving yourself within because we are all part of source. Um, loving yourself from within is um, the ultimate loyalty, um, the, the loyalty to self. 
Okay, Paul number one, I think I'm going to leave it there. That was quite a deep message. <laughs> My reading is going backwards. Uh, sorry, coming backwards, coming back from the holidays. Um, and uh, yeah, welcome back. Thank you so much for being with us. We just passed 500 subscribers um, before we went away, which is amazing. We just feel so blessed and so blessed to have you with us. Um, if you're new to us and you enjoy what we're doing, do please like and subscribe. And we hope to see you again sometime. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Hey, pile number two, welcome to your reading. You chose the card number 14. And it focuses, there we go, it says caribou. Perseverance, resourcefulness, movement and determination. Okay, so we're getting immediate messages from source. Um, if you're new to our readings, welcome. Thank you so much for being along, coming along. Um, I start with two cards and then we draw the rest of the tarot and oracle cards once we get these two energies underway. So we've got an overall energy theme from Toba that joins this. Wow, wow, okay, lovely, we've got purpose. Um, so I am getting the energy here. Um, you know, caribou with these horns, there's, um, there's a lot of weight that we carry around and I'm getting the sense that you are, you may be a bit of an overthinker is the words like, but not in a bad way I, I think part number two you're exceptionally intelligent like you, you like the horns you can just see branches of thoughts going in all different directions but it feels like the weight of your thoughts at this point in time are quite heavy it's like there's there's these big antlers on top of this caribou and though, although you're very strong and you're able to carry this energy and you're able to um think um at a very high level at the moment i think your mind might be feeling a bit burdened by something and it's got something to do with your purpose um and it's like you're determined to push through you're determined to find a solution um and we've got here the energy of movement so maybe you're feeling a bit stuck in terms of your purpose or um maybe you're feeling that you need to find a different route because there's just there's just too much in your mind about how to make something happen um okay so those are the immediate energies that are coming through we are just going to press pause if you're new to our readings i don't know if i said that already i don't know i can't remember um <laughs> we don't pre-select i did say that we don't pre-select any other cards so i'm just going to pause while i go and find the right rest of cards for this message Okay, so we have got here the Law of Positivism <laughs> Oracle. We have got the Tower of the Light. We have got Angel Answers and we've got Findhorn Spirit Oracle. Now, I must say, um, I've kept on getting the message. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Coming through from October, really like just repeated over and over and over again. Um, so if some of you are feeling burdened by something, um, it is going to be OK. I've just got suddenly the words release. It's like there's going to be a sudden shift. Um, a sudden release of energy of some description so let's see if that's going to come through uh where do we want to go to so we are getting immediate messages from source energy source energy is the energy of love um it exists in us around us and obviously of us or we are of it um so the answers are within there's something else that's coming through rejuvenation your fire is on cherish it tend to it and clarity enjoy the freedom of an open mind okay that's really um relevant this clarity and open mind when i feel like there is something um energetically um mind related that is causing the burden of some description rejuvenation your fire is on cherish it tend to it so i'm getting a clear message here that um it's time to get out of your mind and go in go into your intuition i'm getting the energy and the message that you are a very intuitive person um i don't know if you heard there's a little thinging noise there going on it's there is like i think that's a sound that i haven't turned off and i'm not going to try unless it starts happening again of like a, an email coming in um so it's like something's just going to suddenly land in your head, but it's going to come from your intuition. And um, um, for some of you, when you find something where you can get into what we call flow, like being in the immediate moment, um, 
things like hill walking, for example, and where it's not just going out for a walk where you can think, it's something where you're actually um, focused on the challenge in front of you. That's why sporting activities or artistic activities are really great because they stop you from thinking and that allows space for the right answer to come from your intuition, like your inside of your being as opposed to the inside of your mind in order to give your mind the answer to the problem. Um, and here I'm getting your fires on like it's almost like your campfires on or there's some cooking to do or there's like some creative energy some creative fire or an adventure to go on that will help um basically clear the airways clear the pathways and and then you will you will get an an, an immediate download um you're really really close to you're really close to um solving whatever this is um, but there needs to be some space in your mind for your intuition to deliver the message. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Over which of these cards, please? Mm -hmm. Slow to come out. This is interesting. Is there sticky thinking? It's like you don't want to be positive these are the positivitism cards it's like you're struggling to see the positive outcome at the moment these cards don't usually take this card long to show themselves there we go we've got one here um i release negative thoughts about myself and my life well there we go that's pretty pertinent isn't it <laughs> um so yeah there's some there's some sticky thoughts that are clouding clouding your airwaves um on that one I think wants to come out as well I listen to the voice of my body <laughs> there you go that's the intuition it lets me know exactly what I need okay so our intuition sits in our um in our second brain which is um around our stomach area our entric nervous system and so our body literally does have the answers um and I think the task I'm uh, gonna say the challenge the task in order for you to clear your mind, and this is this sort of purple energy here, which is third eye, to be able to see more clearly your purpose, um, is to go out and rejuvenate yourself in nature, go and cleanse your energy. I'm just going to keep these, I've still got these here, these angel answer questions. I'm actually going to keep these till the end. I feel like we need to maybe get some answers from them once we've got more from this message. So with the tarot, I'm going to start with an immediate energy. We're going to go back a little bit for context. We're going to go forward, certainly into the immediate future. Um, I'm not sure we need to go further than that at the moment. And we might just go with three cards. But Tobo, please, from source, um, for some extra help with this message, can we get a opening tarot energy? Again, I feel, I feel, um, it's almost like, there we go, slightly displaced. Pen of stars hoarding. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. So the Ten of Stars will be the Ten of Pentacles, and this is um, an energy that should be a prosperity and feeling fortunate and feeling good and feeling top top, but we've got the word here, hoarding. Um, and it is, it is this um, energy of maybe lack, of maybe trying to control or over control um yeah hoarding it's like you know when you kind of like you're gripping onto something because you're really fearful that if you let go that there's not going to be enough in the future um and this perseverance this energy of being stuck is um comes from not feeling able to allow um the flow of source energy and your intuition to deliver for you and that comes you know we're, we're kind of trained to be like that but it does come from when your mind is more in charge than your intuition um so and there's no judgment in that you know i think we, we all go through periods in our life where we fear that the future is going to be barren of some kind of energy it might be the energy of money it might be the energy of love and therefore we grip and our mind becomes very fearful of the future based on the past um so this is the current energy and and we've got the ten of stars here so we've got the ten of pentacles so so this does indicate that you know for most of you and i appreciate this might not be for all of you that you do actually currently probably have enough 
and you maybe have enough to see you through to the future for a little bit of time whether that's about money or whether that's just about material assets or things that you need um like for whatever maybe where you're working for example that you have enough knowledge to see you through um and, but your mind is kind of just so driven by fear perhaps based on a past hurt or a past trauma that um, it's difficult for you to see the way forward and maybe you're struggling to find or understand what your purpose might be um okay let's just go back one for context please Toby. and there three of hearts and joy okay so you have had perhaps a great friendships and great community um in your recent yeah okay so what i'm getting coming through from tober is that your natural energy is of joy and of happiness and of maybe being generous maybe being a little bit over generous um and and i wonder maybe if you've been like these negative thoughts Maybe something somebody said something, some of your friends has said something, and you've taken it perhaps maybe out of context, or maybe somebody's taken too much from you in terms of energy. Or okay, the other thing that I'm getting is that you have kind of maybe stepped up a gear in terms of your purpose and you've maybe left some of your friendship groups behind. Um, you've got a drive in you to do something, and other people around you can't understand that, for example. Um, but you're so your past energy of joy that has been replaced with this fear of of something not being right in your future um is being driven by some kind of mind-based fear okay so solution for this please toby can we go forward for immediate advice from source about what to do immediately two of trees okay become more flexible <laughs> um setting some short-term goals um and taking action on those i think the, the important thing is just to move is to create flow get out of your head and create some flow just make some choices and um, force yourself to make choices force yourself into this movement um and be flexible understand that there's no such thing as a perfect outcome and like you know life's too short for wait for perfection you know tomorrow may not be perfect but it's still tomorrow and it's still worth living like for the fun of it and the joy of it which is your natural energy rather than the fear of what it could be um okay so immediate advice is to just do something just make a choice just make something that moves you forward and out of this out of this looping stuck energy um and uh, let the let your intuition drive the choice um I'm getting here, close your eyes for three minutes and just say, what is my right next action? And whatever comes into your head, don't then start overthinking it. Allow that, allow that to happen. Okay, and then we're going to go forward one more. What's the next right action after that, please, Tober? From source for part number two. Okay. Your energy is trying to block it again. <laughs> okay. Worried. It's not going through. There it is there. That one. The path. <laughs> Exploration. So I'm getting you from this. Um, just take a chance and walk down. Um, just walk down any of these choices. Like take a choice make make a choice walk down it and it doesn't matter if it's not the right path it's okay to come back the backtrack and go down a different path it's okay to make the wrong choice that maybe is what's what's keeping you in fear which is what if i start something and it's not the right thing it's like well just stop and start something else um you know make it that simple for yourself don't don't predict what might go wrong in advance of not even trying um and that um because that's the fear of humiliation or rejection or shame that is holding you back and it is a fear it's not a it's not a reality and if it is a reality and people are, are, are like shaming you then then you have every right to remove that person or people from your life 
Um, although I appreciate that sometimes very hard to do, but if people aren't able to support you, um, usually it's because they have their own self-worth problems and if they're not working on their own self-worth problems then they kind of try to make them yours and rejuvenating your inner self-belief and your self-worth will give self-worth will give you a lot more clarity and bring you back to this place of joy which is just so lovely for you um, and it allows you to move forward on your purpose and if you don't know what the path to your purpose is I kind of feel this energy is quite clear it's just like I know my purpose is somewhere there. It's like that same energy color. I know my purpose is somewhere there, but I don't know if I'm on the right path. It's like, it doesn't matter because you'll go down a path and it doesn't feel good rather than you think it should be good. If it doesn't feel good, it's probably not the right path and it feels good, then it'll feel good to keep going. It's like, I'm getting this energy. It's like you walk through the forest and some some forest that you walk through feel uncomfortable and you don't really want to be there some forests that you walk through feel amazing and you just want to keep going and you can see the sunlight and the glistening and the dappling and it's like you'll feel whether it's right or not um, and if it doesn't feel right it's okay to use it for material gain until you find something you feel good about so use the resource that comes to you and then tune into your intuition and out of your mind thinking okay we've got some angel answers here i'm not sure what the um outcome it is of these so let's see what we are are we asking some questions Toby? okay so source wants to say that for anyone who's worried about whether you're on the right path or on the right purpose okay so improving health so some of you might feel that um some of you might feel really sluggish in your energy and the message I'm getting through from Tober is that when you feel like you're on the right path, your health will feel good, but you'll feel better overall your body. If you listen to the voice of your body, but you actually listen to your body as well, then as you move further and further towards the right path, um, your health will feel better and it'll, you'll just everything will improve. And... What else is here? I'm sort of going to do this backwards. I'm going to get the answer and then go back to the question. Um, which else does want to come out, Tober? Okay, ask your angels. That's lovely. All right, so this is a, very much about, again, connectivity. Um, gosh, I love how these line up. So we've got improving health under the voice of your body, and then we've got releasing the negative thoughts. And instead of, like, um, instead of thinking about I, I'm, you know, my mind-based fears, is like allow the light within to connect to the light around you <laughs> um and when you still your mind and you listen to your intuition or you can still your mind and you can listen to your guides you can either listen to yourself within or you can listen to the voices outside of you that are helping and supporting you either way um if you rejuvenate the connection to your intuition and to your guides they will be able to um they will be able to help you it's a bit i'm getting the message here from um this caribou that rather than um rather than carry the weight of all of these thoughts on your head use use these they use this energy like as an antenna to reach up and feel the vibrations of what, what um these um horns have these ter but um very very fine hairs on them on caribou and on deer um, and they feel the vibrations in the wind so start feeling the vibrations in the wind as opposed to thinking so get into your fields and then you'll get a lot more clarity um get out into nature allow the energy to flow through you and um just do something that will help just do anything <laughs> do anything to move your thoughts forward and make a choice and if you're on the right path it will feel good and you'll start to feel better um, and you can ask for help at any single point in time um, you're very very protective part number two your purpose is incredibly important you might not feel that like you're finding it at the moment but that's okay um part of the <laughs> in inverted commerce fun <laughs> of life is finding our purpose <laughs> and enjoying the journey to finding it doesn't always feel like fun at the time but the learnings are really important to allow the power of our purpose to be even stronger when it comes through and we can help the planet and help the animals and help all of the other humans that come after us okay i think that's all we have oh no tober wants to give you an affirmation uh he wants a guardian okay let's see one of these is that your message that one there oh love look at that toby said he wanted to give you some love personally 
Okay, negative thoughts and feelings are sabotaging your pursuit of happiness. We, your angels, are here to help you heal, allowing our healing energy to flow through your heart, consciously infuse each negative thought or feeling with love and light. Feel both your heart and mind aligning to your soul's sacred purpose and unleash your divine potential through the power of love. Wow, well, well, that couldn't be more relevant to this reading if we try. Okay, Toba, is there anything else you want to add? Um... He just wants to he just wants to clarify that you're divinely protected. He's saying that for some of you there's there is this struggle between um like the, the old world of mind-based thinking and the new world of intuitive energy. And you wouldn't be drawn to a reading like this unless you're fascinated by energy and fascinated by opening up your intuition. Um and Toba just wants to point out that you know most of us are trained to overthink, like to use our minds, that the, the intellect of our minds is the way forward, if you like, in life. And he said, you know, so many of us humans do go through these struggles. Um, and he's saying, you know, and and I will vouch for this because I've been through this journey, that one of the quickest ways to resolving this kind of almost internal fight and finding that you're much further forward on your on your purpose is to find self-compassion self-kindness like allow yourself to make mistakes allow yourself to walk down a path and not not know whether the choice is right or not allow yourself to fail knowing that there's no such thing as failure because it's it's just a journey it's just a there's, there's there is no right or wrong so the fear the balance equation that is going on is shame and rejection versus the fear of not being yourself and the fear of being not being yourself like the freedom to express yourself comes when you are able to give yourself self-compassion that you open yourself up to your intuition and you open yourself up to the fact, the fact that life is full of failures and it doesn't matter because there's no such thing as failure <laughs> it's all just part of the learning and the journey and he said if you can do that then you will become much more flowing um because you're exceptionally talented and very 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 good at thinking very good at problem solving and um but you actually, whether you realise it or not, when you're in the best problem solving place that you're at, it's because you're actually working with your intuition um, and you're allowing that energy to come through because you're kind of in flow. And when you're stuck, it's because you're um, pouring pouring scorn on yourself is the word I'm coming through for some of you. Um, so self-compassion will really start to help your energy flow. Self-love um, might feel like a stretch for you, um, but that is the the journey that you're on is to love your purpose and therefore love your life and love who you are. Okay, pile number two, I think that's all we have. Um, if you are new to our channel and you'd like to subscribe, that would be amazing. If you've been with us, we've just passed 500 um, subscribers and we're so grateful. Uh, we so appreciate having you here and for the support that you've given us um, over the weeks and months as well. Um, and we all hope to see you all again sometime soon. Okay, thank you so much, bye. Okay, pile number three, welcome to your reading. You chose the card number two. And it's a blue whale and it says unity, resonance, magnificence and mastery. So the whales are very deep emotional energy. So I am getting here um, mastery of your emotions or seeing the magnificence of yourself from within. Um, the magnificence of the source energy of love is also coming through so if you're new to our readings we start with two cards this is an overall energy theme from tober and um, wow okay amazing we've got duality um duality in the card number two um i'm getting this energy that you are you've either found or you're very very close to finding balance and harmony in your life um i just adore the colors here actually they're some of my favorite colors i think they're very very similar actually to what's on tober's um kind of like uh, thumbnail colors and we've got this beautiful um yellow solar plexus chakra color and the energy of the sun and then we've got this beautiful turquoise blue um similar to the energy that we selected today um and it's like i'm feeling like you're you're mastering the ability to bring together the connection you have to the to the energy world to the spiritual world 
to source together with the material the material elements of life and you, and you're doing that by finding what it feels like to find self compassion and self love and self worth and if you don't feel like that then I suggest you're very, very close to being able to find it or something's going to trigger you to be able to suddenly land and find that. Um, and we've got some purple colour here, sort of um, third eye chakra, possibly even crown chakra energy coming through. So I am getting, I'm really feeling an energy balance coming through in this and it's and it's nice, it's really nice to hang out with. <laughs> um, and I think, again, maybe you're mastering how... Um, sorry, these messages are coming through from Tuber, so I'm just going to get them out before we get the rest of the cards. Um, but I really think you're able to master how much of you and your actions can make things balanced or unbalanced for yourself. You know, like whales that come, come leaping out of the water and sort of like crash on the waves, but they know that the waves and the energy of the water will balance them. So it's like you can you can reach out and make a statement if you need to, or you can reach out and make a noise or a splash or or you can go into the depths um, and sort of swim around in the energy of your environment, knowing how to almost like push it out of balance on purpose if you need to, to make a noise or to make a statement. But knowing that the way that you do it always keeps you in balance. It's like you can master the air and the water or you can master the your emotions and your actions. Um Bab, <laughs> I just want to say. Okay, so we got some immediate messages from Source. Um, I'm excited to see what's coming through here, part number three. Um, and uh, I'm going to pause for those of you who knew. I don't pre-select any cards other than these, um, just so it's really important the energy of the message comes out live as we go through. So I'm going to pause and get the right cards. Okay, we have got here what energy that wants to come out was the gateway of light activation oracle uh, we've got the enchanted unicorn or oracle we've got the shaman's dream oracle and we've got the anima mundi tarot so a let's say slightly unusual mixture um maybe these two sometimes work together but this one feels like it was um it's almost like a wild card feels like Okay, let's see how wild it is. No. Oh no, I thought that said duality there. It says divinity. <laughs> balance, there we go. Oh my God, balance, physical and spiritual. No way. Oh my goodness. I could almost say divinity. It says duality. Duality and divinity. There we go. I've just realised we've got duality and unity. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you're bringing in. Balance the physical and the spiritual. Wow. Your energy is strong, part number three. Your connectivity is very strong. Stargate heart. Wow. Heart chakra opening, unlocking and generosity. Oh my goodness. I feel like you're stepping into a portal. And it's like the physical and the spiritual meet at the heart chakra, right? I'm getting the message coming through. Sorry for pausing that this uh, there is something in the guide, but I need to check in about this. I'm just gonna pull the rest of the other cards. So the rest of the, yeah, the rest of the card is only one. Yeah, there's one that was gonna fool's embrace, transmuting pain. Okay, some of you are gonna become healers if you're not healers already. Don't you have this there's an energy behind here? Card number 22 is balance. You are natural healers. You are natural healers. Um, okay. Card number 22 is a card of balance again. We've got balance, we've got balance, we've got duality, we've got balancing energy, but with, there's something coming together through. It's almost like there's a portal that I feel like you're about to step through. Um, so this 22 for a start is a message to say that you're on the right path. Everything in your life is coming together and it is in beautiful harmony. Um, but there is a message in here and I think there's a message in here in the guidebook as well. So I'm going to press pause. Um, I will only read it out if it's relevant. I might help hold it up to screenshot it, but um, there's something I need to find out. Okay, I'm going to come back in a sec. Okay, 
I'm just going to hold this up. I'm not going to read at this first section, but if you want to screenshot it, you can. Okay. I'm going to start reading down here. Okay, so your message. So first of all, sorry, just on this fool's embrace. So um, for many of you, maybe most of you, I've just realised we've got here, so we've got a triple two, so we've got two, two, two. That's amazing. And duality. Um, you have been through some process that probably started with something incredibly painful emotionally um, that had you diving diving into the depths of finding your emotions and restoring yourself but actually in doing that you've actually become almost a different person and you've had to go through this huge healing journey of balancing the physical world finding maybe a spiritual connection that perhaps was new look at these um it's like you've been wearing the badge of your heart energy, almost like wearing it on your shoulder. Maybe you know, I'm getting the words chip on your shoulder um, or somebody had a chip on their shoulder about you, perhaps more more likely palm and ball three. Um, but, you know, it's like when we carry the pain somewhere that is not in our heart because we can't bear it, because we have to deal with it. And this is a message to say you're about to step into the portal of feeling able to open your heart open again because you have transmuted the pain you've done that work you've processed it and eventually been able to release it so i do want to read this bit about your message here your heart space is a sacred space deep within you for some time you've protected it with psychic shields that have not only stopped you from being hurt but also stopped you from feeling loved this gateway appearing shows that you have finally dropped these shields and are ready to experience love. Universal wisdom wants you to know that it is your divine right. You're highly empathetic and generous. You're a soul who has much to give and you're being called forth to reveal the deeper and more vulnerable aspects of your being. Divine light beings are surrounding you, holding you and encouraging you to relax. All the restrictions and blockages of your heart space have now been removed. The worst is behind you and the world needs you. I'm feeling shivers down my spine. I, I've had big shivers all over. Part number three, you've done the work, you've put in the time, you've hurt the hurts, you've felt the hurts, you've cried out the hurts, um, you've blocked out the hurts, you've worn the hurts elsewhere, and then you've taken them in again. You've did, gone down to the depths, you've popped up now and again for air, and you've gone down to the depths again, and you are emerging magnificent. You're bringing together, and and maybe, maybe you've been in hermit mode for a long period of time. Maybe you've been just, you know, holding yourself, recovering yourself from whatever it is for a long period of time. But in that time, you've discovered the duality of our world, and it all focuses in together now into your heart, and an explosion of love opening up for you. It's like you're ready. You're ready to unlock your heart again, pile number three. I'm in awe of the work. I, I just this is incredible. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, Tober. Um, so for some extra guidance from source, then immediate messages. Let's just make sure we got here right. We're going to set getting too excited. Um, too carried away. Not on the bliss of your heart opening. It's beautiful. So we've got immediate energy here we're going to go back um into this space for a little bit of context and we're going to go to the media and then sort of slightly longer term future so current energy please for this particular input from source what does source want to say to her we've got three there are too many oh there it is that's the one that wants to pop up okay so we've got three of swords all right so this is the loss and the heartache and the separation that we're talking about. So this is almost like it's time to withdraw the swords away from your heart and free them and let the wound, let the wound go. Okay, so we're going to go back. <gasps> Sorry. Sorry, we've got to do it this way. We're just going to go forwards. Was that past energy? This Okay. We're just going to go forward now in in future progression. Tobra saying there's so much, there's so much um, that they want to say about the future that they don't want to dwell on the past. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to set the scene that that was your heartache. 
So the loss is now behind you. So we're going to put it in the past spot. So we're going to go forward. What's happening instantly, immediately? Justice. We've got another lion. We started with the secret language of lions. We started with our lion energy. It's a very similar lion, even though they're completely different decks. Um, it's like your strength. You've found your strength. Your strength is returning. We've got these two pillars. We've got the energy of like strength of, of that um, duality. In the classic tarot, the pillars, um, like for the high priestess, for example, represent the um, between the worlds. So you have balanced yourself between the worlds and your strength is returning. Um, we've got this card of justice, which is also about... Um, just like a successful um a, su a successful outcome to the physical world but finding balance okay so so the justice is a card of balance and we've got this balanced energy all over this um well it's under the balance okay so continuing to feel balanced is is like just maintaining that balance like is the immediate energy from source. Like the advice is just maintaining that balance because it's the balance that keeps you the balance and the and the ability to be fair, the ability to be fair to yourself as well as to the rest of the world is at the heart of kind of refinding the ability for you to open up like both your physical and your spiritual. Okay. We've got the fool and a fresh start. Wow. Okay. So amazing things, new beginnings, like new opportunities, like the chance of just taking a leap of faith, a leap of faith with your heart is what I'm getting here. Um, yeah. Un unlocking your future. Today's a message that your future is unlocking. Continue to continue to live in that balance. And, and I'm, I'm actually getting from Toby, like loads of things are going to start. I'm like, it's almost like I'm getting a, like a floodgate of, a floodgate of manifestations of new experiences of it's like the fool the fool starts to open up like the fool is the, the you know the innocence of allowing your heart energy to go out there again um being playful playful is already will be a really great energy for you more about the future please to bring from source what else is coming up? That one there. Oh, wow. We've got the King of Cups. Wow. Love. Balance again. More balance. Love, balance, creativity. Look, we've got another, like, it's another whale. It's like a killer whale. It's like, you're going you're gonna to nail it. You've nailed it. You're killing it. You're killing it emotionally. It's like you're leaping out and taking ownership. That's the mastery, the magnificence and the mastery. Part uh, number three, this is a message to say you're ready. You're ready to open your heart again. Whether that's to somebody or whether that's to life, whether that's to work, whether that's to um, anything. It's like to any, like, it's happening. It's happening for you. There's, there's going to be a flood of new opportunities and new beginnings and everything. And it's just like, it's going to feel like these, it's going to feel like, oh my God, everything's suddenly lined up. There really is. There really is a spiritual world. Yes, there is. I can promise you that. Um, you figured out, actually, there's a oneness, not a duality. Because you brought together the physical and the spiritual through your heart. And you realize that you are one. You're one with your heart. You're one with the energy. And the pain, you know, pain, I don't think pain ever, like, I know they say it dims or it doesn't go away. Um, you're maybe at the stage that you're thanking the pain for opening your heart properly. Um, because without the pain, we can live without really understanding what love is. We think we understand what it is, but mind-based mind -based love is not. Um, and the energetic, universal energetic self-love is, is the real love. And so a lot of our human construct is based on um, a love that is conditional, 
and this is unconditional love, this energy is unconditional love. Okay, I'm just going to get an affirmation for you. I'm just kind of bowled over by this message. Um, I'm just going, I'm just going to press pause and just make sure I get the right deck. Uh, just two seconds. Okay, we're going to get a postcard from, so these are postcards from Spirit, but postcard from Source. That's the thing though. Okay. Dearest you, on Earth, humans learn about life by telling stories and creating new ones based on shared experiences. Eventually, after repeating one often enough, it becomes your main story that you use to define yourself in the world. So to get the answers you seek, you must get vulnerable and hear your story when you tell it. Ask, why do you tell it? Is it really true? What else can be true? Can you see the truth that spirit is in all things? Do you see how other stories overlap and intertwine? Spirit loves stories for they're like blueprints for co-creation. So tell the one we know to be true about you, a story of courage, gratitude and honesty. Well, tell an empowered story about well-being, wisdom and grace. You will experience your world according to the story you tell about it. So make sure they're stories you're proud of. Genuine love from genuine loving fan club. I'm feeling this is like an invitation to share your story. Um, part number three, if that resonates... You know, don't feel that that's something you have to do, but that's kind of what I'm getting from Tober. It's just like there's very few people that reach such an empowered state that you have. Um, and uh, yeah, and Tober and Source, immediate message from Source is, well, first of all, like it's like you've made it. <laughs> like You've made it through the Stargate portal of opening your heart chakra to unconditional love because you found unconditional love for yourself and you've learned to tell a new story about your past hurts. Um but I'm getting the message here to maybe consider sharing your story. Um, maybe from writing stories, maybe in writing stories about um, the path to finding unconditional love. Um, sorry, I'm just pausing because I'm getting I'm getting an image from Tober of um I'm getting an image of Tober. It's all, I'm trying to describe it. But it's almost like zombies walking around the world, like um, thinking that they're separate from everybody else. Um, and maybe once upon a time you felt like a bit like that. It's like, um, you know, you're walking around wondering what it's all about, and in the, and in the, I'm getting the words the pain of pain. You found the love for love. I hope that makes sense. Well, yeah, I think it does make sense. It's pretty profound. It's very deep. Um, pile number three, you've been on one heck of a journey um, that went deep and hurt emotionally. But you're ready. Because you're so balanced in the physical and the spiritual as well. And if as long as you maintain that balance and and keep unconditional love at the, for you at the heart of everything that you do, then loads and loads and loads of new stuff is coming through and you're just going to feel so emotionally fulfilled and so emotionally topped up and just um, in such a great place. And, and just like the little trick here is that if it ever feels out of balance, it's the balance that gets you back in balance. <laughs> Lots of repeating. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, if you are new to us, please consider liking and subscribing and coming back and visiting us again. And if you have been with us, we've just passed 500 subscribers. We're so, so incredibly grateful for your support over the weeks or months. Um, and um, yeah, we, we just feel so blessed to be able to do this. And we really hope to see you again sometime. Okay, take care. Bye.